you get to work with one heck of an ensemble I in know, this movie. I know, it really what? is just a bucket list I, of a cast. Really, it's amazing. I yeah. can't imagine because I would be intimidated as <laughs> I am to walk into Christian Bale's room soon <laughs> to meet any of them. So was there anybody on the cast in particular that you were either super nervous or maybe even just excited to meet Well, I mean, with? obviously, as you mentioned, Christian, I mean, he is like the nicest guy. Plus, I mean, he played Batman and everything as well. So that that's really crazy. And, you know, being able to work with them, the, the amount of dedication they really bring into those roles, I think is really incredible because, you know, obviously they do a lot of research and they ask a ton of questions. So I think that's, I think that's what makes them so successful as well. I mean, plus they obviously have a lot of talent and everything, but I mean, the amount of work they put in is just fantastic and incredible. So I'm still trying to wrap my head around how this whole production works here. Yes. So you can correct me if I'm wrong. Right, right. You get to shoot with them while they're doing their performance right, capture, right, but right. then when you go to set on location, yeah. then somebody else is standing in for them? Yeah, that's correct. So, um, yeah, so the way it worked, I, I kind of shot it like a play in a way. So I went over, I flew over to England and LA to work with the primary cast. Um, and this was primarily capture their performance, as you said, in the head cams and everything. So I would come back six months later, actually, to work in in, in England and South Africa to and work with different uh, performance capture actors who obviously play very different from a Christian or a Kate or Benedict or whoever. And you know that's obviously that's obviously very challenging because you know, you know obviously I have to remember how Christian or whoever played it while playing it uh, playing across from someone who plays it very differently and keeping my performance organic. I mean, it's it's challenging, but, you know, I think it, it paid off. So you're basically doing the whole movie twice. <laughs> kind of, actually, in a way, yeah. It does pay off, though. I mean, obviously, with, um, with the actual, uh, uh, you know, with the actual stuff when I was capturing my performance with the dirt and everything and the long hair, I mean, that was challenging because, you know, I had to do a lot of physical and agility training for that specifically, so. I can't even imagine because while I was watching you doing <laughs> yeah. that, I'm thinking about my gym class where they tell me, hold the squat position for 30 yeah, yeah, seconds yeah, yeah. and I want to crumble. Yeah, so I did a lot of that, actually. I, I did some of that. I did uh, agility training and everything with, uh, you know, push-ups, pull-ups, stuff like that. I did a lot of physical training as well with uh, running on all fours, you know, wind sprints, stuff like that. So that was challenging. I also did um, some research on YouTube and I also camped out with wolves in upstate New York. Did you really? Yeah, that was really great. That's so cool. Cool. Who'd you get to do that with? I went with my family. I went with my mom, my dad, and my younger sister. Oh, that's so uh, yeah. nice. And my, my sister's actually a, a huge animal lover, so... She, I'm she assuming really you're an to, animal lover, too. I do, I am. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, she, she's she's on a whole other level, though. She, she, you know, she actually uh, volunteers at a, um, uh, a shelter near oh, our place. Oh, that's so nice. Yeah. Uh, did Andy let you try the performance capture at all? Actually, for, um, I think it was right in the beginning of the process, I believe. Uh, I worked with Kate, and she was one of the first ones that I worked with. And, you know, obviously... Um, it is really challenging to to do that kind of uh, uh, with. Yeah, have you seen? Yeah, I'm sure you've seen the movie. Yeah, but um, you know, with Ka going around Mowgli and everything, it is really challenging. So I had stuntmen like pick me up and twirl me around and everything as Ka's tail, and I had the most the performance capture suit actually on, and that was that was the first time I'd ever done that. And I was super pumped because you know Andy is a performance capture king, so I was I was really excited. No better person to be working <laughs> exactly, with yeah, than yeah. him on stuff like that. Right. So this is a super intense movie. I was telling you about a right. particular moment that I'm not going to spoil that made me cry. <laughs> you pretty much have this entire movie on your shoulders, and I would say every single thing is pretty intense. So what do you do either in between takes or at the end of the day to kind of, I don't know, relax and smile and well, have fun? Yeah, so the thing is, actually, in between uh, in between takes and scenes, I really don't really get out of the headspace of Mowgli, especially in those really emotional scenes and really intense scenes. So um, obviously, I, I assume I know the scene that you're talking about. Um, uh, but I mean that was a very sad scene and you know I would stay in character every time you know we, we cut or we, or we reset or whatever um, and what's great um, Andy sometimes just keeps the camera rolling and just lets me go almost and he really gives me that freedom with with Mowgli while being able to like, guide me and push me through the role I think is everything that an actor needs really.